passes a major piece of legislation this afternoon and later the Yankees and Phillies prepare to face off in the fall classic. Welcome to Pride Watch. I'm Mike Manzoni. Here's tonight's top story. The mayors of New York and Philadelphia have a bet on the World Series. New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg will travel to the city of brotherly love to help paint a mural. That's if the Phillies win. But if the Yankees win, Philadelphia Mayor Michael Nutter will travel to the Big Apple to help paint the inside of a school. And he'll have to do it wearing the Bronx Bombers pinstripes. Mayor Bloomberg is feeling confident. He says he's already picked out a Derek Jeter jersey for Nutter. And as New York City gears up for the mayoral race, Nassau County is preparing to vote on a county executive. Pride Watch reporter Samantha Manning recaps last night's debate held right here at Hofstra. Nassau residents packed the Student Center Theater to watch the three county executive hopefuls face off in a two hour long debate. Each candidate used a different power of persuasion. Democratic incumbent Tom Swazi said his eight years in office have been a major success. We took Nassau County from being the worst run county in America, is now considered one of the most dramatic turnarounds anywhere in the nation. Republican challenger Edward Mangano said he would ask the question his opponent has not. Did you in fact save taxpayer dollars? Did you in fact advance the common good? The underdog in the debate was conservative Steve Hansen. He told Long Islanders that he values the sanctity of life. We are the party in New York State that stands for life. The debate was one of the last chances for the candidates to make their cases to the public before voters hit the polls on Election Day. As a co-sponsor of the county executive debate, the League of Women Voters says it is a nonpartisan organization. In fact, it handed out a number of pamphlets to Long Islanders, encouraging them to go out and vote. Hofstra University's Political Science Department also co-sponsored the event. Samantha Manning, Pride Watch. Voters will go to the polls next Tuesday, November 3rd. Today, President Obama signed a bill that adds protection for hate crimes against more than just race. After more than a decade of opposition and delay, we've passed inclusive hate crimes legislation to help protect our citizens from violence based on what they look like, who they love, how they pray, or who they are. With the Senate vote on Thursday, Congress has approved a, major, a, me a measure rather, expanding the National Defense Act to include crimes based on gender, sexual orientation, gender identity, or disability. This is one of the most significant expansions of the law since its uh, enactment after the assassination of Martin Luther King in 1968. The bill provides financial aid to states prosecuting hate crimes. Taking a look now at your weather, another wet day here in Hempstead. Your current temperature is 53 degrees. Later tonight, expect a low of 47 with cloudy skies. Tomorrow will be partly cloudy with a high of 58. Expect clearer skies tomorrow night with a low of 46. Friday will be cloudy with a high of 59. The clouds will continue to cover the skies Friday night with a low of 55. Saturday will be mostly cloudy with a high of 62. The evening might bring a damper to any Halloween festivities with an overnight low of 51 and showers. Expect a few showers on Sunday with a high of 55 and partly cloudy skies at night with a low of 41. That's it for the weather. Now here's Alicia Alford with your sports. Alicia. Thanks, Mike. The World Series begins tonight at Yankee Stadium, and even though the Philadelphia Phillies are the defending champions, many people see them as the underdogs in this year's series. The Phillies and Yankees faced off earlier this season at Yankee Stadium in a series that saw the Phillies take two of three games. Despite their success against the Yankees this year, slugger Ryan Howard says the Yanks are the team to beat. Um, you know, obviously they have a lot of the, the, the star power in, in their lineup and just, you know, kind of all the hype that goes along with, with, being, um, with being a Yankee. If you want to be considered one of the best or be the best, then you pretty much have to beat the best, and that's, that's the Yankees. And from the diamond to the court, the NBA tipped off their new season last night. Kobe Bryant and the Los Angeles Lakers got their new championship rings before going up against the crosstown rival Clippers. No surprises here, Bryant led all scores with 33 points while leading the Lakers to a 99-92 to win. That's all we have for sports tonight. Back to you, Mike. Okay, thanks, Alicia. Uh, that's it for this edition of Pride Watch. Thanks for watching.